Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today, we're gonna be walking around the farmer's market. It's uh, actually called the Slow Food Farmer's Market. So I've never been. I've heard wonderful things about it. They have it here every single Saturday. So um, I needed to pick up a couple things for dinner tonight. So I was just, you know what? Let me just walk over here real quick, pick up a couple things, bring, bring, uh, bring you guys with me and show you guys around. So, um, all right. Without further ado, I'll see you guys, uh, you know, once we're there, all right? I'm gonna strap you guys to my head, all right? Cool, see you guys in a bit. I got a tree of these in the backyard. These are the sour oranges I always talk about. By the way, this place up here is phenomenal. Great place. It's just a few blocks from my house, but some of the best pho probably in the world. Right here. <laughs> I know, fuck, fuck. I said it wrong. Anyways, all right. So this is where we're at. This place is from someone's backyard. Interesting, interesting. Oh, that's from New Louisiana, New Orleans. Interesting. Pastrami. <laughs> okay, now we got juices. Para el mundo entero, esto es para, para YouTube, sí, sí, sí. Muy bien, muy sí, tienen una ciudad bien bonita aquí en Mérida, todo bien bonito. Te la regalo. Sí, que a la ciudad no le gusta tanto. Bueno, yo te regalo Miami, ahí, ahí me vengo yo. So. Perfecto. Yo hago intercambio internacional, ¿verdad? Ya, perfecto. Bueno, mucho gusto. Bonito todo. Gracias. Sí. Hola. That's funny, this reminds me of, uh, of a farmer's market back home. And it feels like a lot of people from back home came out here and, and planted themselves, which is very interesting. It's really cool. I'm trying to find some potatoes and onions. Oh, maybe over there. There seems to be more stuff over there. We got more cheese, actual, look, cheese, real cheese. I gotta buy one of these and try not to kill this first and then we can upgrade and start growing other stuff. Hola, buenos días. I'm not 
I think I follow somebody from here on Instagram. Anyway, I see a lot of kombucha. Kombucha. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Not only do I see a lot of kombucha, but I've I've never seen so many American vendors. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen more than one American vendor at a time. And this is the first time I've seen so many in one spot. Um, just selling all kinds of goodies. Because there's, um, I can tell that there's a lot of, um, you know what, let me stand. All right, so now I can speak a little easier um, through here. So, as you guys can see, the farmer's market is right behind me. So I'll talk like this, that would be a lot easier for me to talk. Um, so yeah th th this is the first time i've ever come to visit here it's a uh, really cool really interesting um i've um I, I this is just like a regular farmer's market back home i just came from la and the west coast where this is the norm this is the kind of farmer's market i'm used to um because they have other markets which i got to show you guys um later on on uh, other episodes which is the market within the city and these markets it's doing some recycling there. Let me see if I can. It's just that it's so hot over here. Maybe there's a little better. But anyways, so the markets that are within the city, they are um, a lot more um, Mexican. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a third world country-ish. And those, that's actually what I was expecting here. Like a mix of both. I wasn't expecting it to be um, full on, you know, um, California vibe, full on a millennial vibe and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not hating. I'm, I'm actually really happy you know that i discovered this and i found this like like a block from my house a few blocks from my house 10 15 minute walk but um it's really cool um just from taking a look around uh, walking around you get to see um a lot of the um what is it crowd favorites that we have from back home here a lot of a lot of kombucha a lot of um uh, you know hippy dippy stuff you know all that good stuff all the stuff that i loved um there's um on the other side of that street there's like a health food store which i've heard a lot about and have yet to visit i finally saw it and like oh wow you know this is better than the one i usually go to and so on and so forth um the restaurants here you know again we saw at the beginning when i first got here the fall the pho pho place you guys correct me you guys know um i went there with my friends when they came to visit phenomenal it's right there they're part of this whole thing and um all these other restaurants and everything else looks good and it looks very tourist friendly it looks very um, expat friendly this whole area here is very expat friendly and pretty much I, I saw a lot of vendors here that were vending uh, cheese and I could tell you know they were just you know vending the cheese that they made themselves on their farm and it's an American selling it so it's like the whole you know artisanal vibe that we're used to from back home and stuff like that and sure you know there are Mexicans that are doing the same thing out here but as you guys know there's a 
you know, there's like a whole um, subculture of this stuff happening back home. So the fact that it's also here, and this is just a small little area, you know, there's other areas just like this that do this kind of stuff and they're popping up more and more all the time. We're seeing art here as well. We're seeing, um, you know, all, all kinds of artisanal food, artisanal uh, baked goods, um, everything, everything. This is pretty amazing. So yeah, guys, um, I think I'm gonna strap you to my head again. We're gonna take another walk back and we're gonna end this and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are enjoying this and uh, yeah, you know, so far so good. Pretty cool that I found this. I mean, they got everything here. Look, they got like from the whole recycling stuff there and um, you know, they're picking up stuff, you know, for to donations, you know, and again, it, you know, it started all the way over there and it's just like a regular farmer's market. Look how it's pretty big, you know, a big parking lot there, you know, more food and restaurants, a lot of vegan stuff, all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? Like the, the paintings are all the way over there. You know, they got everything from honey to you know real like um and you know um baked goods made with the real flour not you know that horrible carb you know all, all that's horrible um white sugar white carb stuff and uh yeah you know it's pretty cool pretty cool thing that they got this going on and it's a thing you know it's not just uh it's not just like um you know there's more and more of these popping up each day and so yeah someone made a comment um, that Mexico right now is more like the United States was about 30 40 years ago and I'm like yeah that's exactly what it is like you know I, I've said that many times before and um, and yeah like more and more I am here each day it is like kind of 30 40 years ago but only like I'm talking about just you know certain things not everything because as you guys can obviously see a lot of the stuff that you know we were doing back in the States or in you know um, first world countries and so on and so forth they um, are happening here and if this place is, is growing in the sense that like, yeah, they're, they're backwards 30, 40 years in the growth state element of it. Then again, you know, the potential of uh, not just Mexico, but a lot of countries like this. Again, um, what am I missing? You know, last night I had a hamburger for dinner. I mean, yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna strap you guys back to my head and we're gonna take a long, another little walk and uh, wrap this up. All right, guys. You guys can see they're selling a bunch of leather goods back there let's just go right through here again and as you can see look there's like all the way back there's another roundabout so it's not like this city is just beautiful in a certain area it's, it's beautiful all around it's everywhere you know this is like the car the of mexico but definitely this area they love it here those bum those uh those punch buggies those things are like collector's items they love them out here Again, beautiful paintings. I just taking. It's like an art school here, something like that. Restaurant. You might not be able to see, maybe you can. You guys can see there, nice little restaurant. I don't think we came through here. Manada, bread, lemon cake, carrot cake, bee pollen, bee pollen, one of these. Si, honey. Explicándolo a los americanos que es lo que tienen aquí. Para el chocolate. Seems like there's more stuff over here. I didn't even know about this. So this is like the parking lot back here, I guess. I don't know, I just walk over here since I'm like, but I guess people come from all over. It's a big ass parking lot, it's full. Interesting. So here, when you're, when you're driving, just so you guys can understand, just for, since we're already out here, this is like all kinds of tips and tricks. So when you come out here to Mexico, to any kind of place like this, any kind of um, 
parking lot, uh, wherever you are, you're gonna encounter some guy like the guy in front of me right there. And um, that guy really is here to just make sure that you're not bumping into any cars. So if you're a really horrible driver, don't worry, this guy will just fucking pop out of nowhere and he'll kind of direct you in traffic and stuff like that. And you're not obliged to give him a tip, but some people do give them tips and that's what they work off of. So they just like come out here and they post up in, in random parking lots and they just, um, they do that work. So just FYI, you know, so it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's weird when you come out here. Hola, buenos días. Let me go through the front. Let me. Let's go through the front so I can give you one last little peek, sneak peek. We got books. We got stuff. And right, one little sneak little peek here. Sí, yo he venido aquí muchas veces ya, es eh, excelente. Sí, sí. Ya, ya, gracias a ustedes por estar aquí. Cool, so yeah, this is the place I've told you guys about, see? Thank, thank. Oh, they opened up another place. So again, for my friends that came out to visit, see, now we got two places, right? I, I highly recommend it, all right? Highly recommend it. Really good, fucking good, all right? And this is from people that actually came from Vietnam, all right? Like the, the, the owners are from, from this, uh, from Vietnam. And, um, and uh, my friend that loved this place so much that, not, that lives in LA, um, literally ate, you know, visited Vietnam and has had this food out there. And yeah, I know, um, we're in Mexico, but still just a <laughs> little, little hidden gem, which there are many of here, okay? 
And uh, with that, I think we're gonna start wrapping. We're gonna just wrap it up. It's like I still gotta go to the store because I wanted some potatoes and some onions and I cannot find them here. Oh, boo hoo. All right, let's get some shade real quick because it's fucking hot. So, yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. We just took a little walk around the farmer's market. Um, you got to see a bunch of interesting stuff. Um, got to hang out. Um, seems like there's a bunch of Americans here. There's a bunch of uh, Hispanics here, you know, like Mexicans, I'm sorry. I mean, well, but Hispanics, you know, I, I'm, I saw a bunch of, uh, you know, Argentina and Chilean. I heard a bunch of different um, types of accents, you know? So to me, um, this is really cool. And um, I can't wait to see more of these places and show you guys more of these places because now I have, a, I have an excuse to go out to these places more often because, hey, you guys want to see them? I want to show them to you. It's like a win-win. So, bam. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons, big shout out to all my supporters, big shout out to all of you guys, all right? Seriously, you guys are phenomenal. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to end it there. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.